So when we do this, typically speaking, we got somebody on the ground. What do we end up doing with them? We roll them, right? And when they roll them, what do we end up doing with them? We roll them onto our legs, right? And then we slide the board under, okay? But what happens there is when they slide the board under, they raise it up also, and then they put them down. Is that correct or incorrect? Huh? Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. We are taking a patient. We are rolling them up to 90 degrees, right? Then we were rolling them a little extra to do what? Allow the board to get farther under them. Because what's happening is when they're at 90 degrees, when we lay them down, they're usually short on the board. They're not on the board all the way. So if we take them, we roll them up 90, go a little further, it lets the board go under further. So when, we, when they lay down, now they are, tend to be on the board more. Does that make sense to everybody? So by taking this, rolling a little extra, raising the board up, we've just taken away the reason for even rolling them extra. So if you're going to do that, go here, why even, uh, you know, why even go here if you're going to raise the board up? Because now you're just at 90 and you're going to fall short and you have to. Anytime we, sh we adjust people, how do we adjust them? We go down, then up. Don't go up because the seat collar can catch up here. So we don't want to go up. We want to make sure we are doing down and in line, uh, up and in line. Okay. Then from there, we're going to put the spider straps on. Okay. First, headblocks are last. How many times have you guys seen headblocks trying to go on first? That's wrong, right? We're supposed to put on the straps you're going to put on the chest strap okay i'm sorry the shoulder straps first then you're going to put on the foot straps and the way it works uh, really good with that is once you put the chest straps on uh, somebody will put their foot down here and they pull these two together and strap those in they can get that nice and tight and you got a good straight line now we're going to try and get the straps we're going to go up here up in the chest region as we can we're going to go kind of in the midriff realm and then maybe to the upper leg right there all right so this goes here goes here this goes somewhere in this neighborhood this is going to go somewhere in this neighborhood and we're going to do this right here so let's go ahead and put these strap these in real quick uh, set that one right there yeah. so if we can we want to go slightly underneath the patient's shoulder all right because it locks them in Okay, not necessarily up here because we got to put head blocks up there, right? So we want to go to one just below where the head blocks would come in. So we want to be able to wrap their shoulder up. Okay, hold this where you want it and then go ahead and bring both of these up. Now we're going to go down to the feet. We want to get as low as we possibly can down here. Uh, this one right here. Just because that's about as far as we can really go and get good oh, coverage. Get All right, yeah, that'll work. Okay, we cinch that down. All right, we got it nice and straight. We want this one to be up in the chest region. Now, when you do this, make sure we don't get, hamper the person's breathing, okay? So there should be one right there. It's right in line here, okay? Okay, let, let them inhale, so breathe in. All right, and then we bring that down, okay? Now, somewhere around the belt line. Can be a little high, a little low. Once again, depending on injuries, you're gonna have to adjust these, okay? Ready, okay? All right, it's note that we're doing this at the same time. So somewhere right in, yeah, I got one right here. What I don't want to do is pull this thing to the side. Does that make sense? I want to leave it straight. Okay, ready and go. All right, note that this has Velcro, so if these are actually going to overlap this one, we go over the top of that one. All right, then what we're going to do is apply, and remember, somebody's got C-spine this whole time, right? Yep. So when they're high, holding C-spine like this, we're going to take both head blocks, we're going to put those on at the same time. So he's, he's holding C-spine from the onset, we put on the collar, still holding, we let him roll them, put them on the board, all that good stuff. Now what we're going to do is take the head blocks, keep your hands there. Okay, slowly move out. See how we move those blocks right in? And then we're going to tape. And where are we going to tape? We're going to come here. We're going to bring that thing down, hit the C-collar right here. We're going to come up so it's creating a U in essence. Then we're going to go on the forehead right here. We're going to catch low, go on the forehead. Where it interjects, the, where it hits the forehead, we're going to fold it over two-thirds of the way. We use three-inch tape, right? So it should only be about an inch, about a half inch. We're going to go over here. So we're going to come from here, go over, and back down on this side right here. All right? So they're creating an X on the sides, and it'll look something to that effect. Okay, any questions on that?
All right, and then obviously transport, all that good stuff. Remember, this is a full body splint, so you also want to do a pulse motor sensor check afterwards. Okay? Questions? Yeah. Now, on your straps, let's go ahead and get them out, but let's uh, just put the strap right back here on itself like this, and I'll show you why. All right, so this is where, when we do it, put our straps away, make sure you take one, place it on the other, place it on the other, place it on the other, and then finally at the top, and then you're gonna fold these together. All right, that way when they come out, we can literally just put it on the patient and drop them down, not be rolled up like we had a minute ago. Rolling straps is incorrect. 